Hello, welcome to Yin Yoga. So today is our last day moving through the third and fourth limb of the eight limb path, which is asana being the third limb and pranayama, the yoga breath work being the fourth limb. So I tend to combine those two together because they really do just um, go well together. So that being said, do what you need to do. If my breathing cues don't work for you, just breathe, that's all good. Prop wise, um, you can have a block or two, um, a bolster that's gonna feel nice and yummy um, in Shavasana or a pillow. I'm sitting up on a folded blanket. And I've got another extra blanket here just to be safe. So that being said, we're going to do a lot of twisting today. So also mind, be mindful in your twisting. So when you twist, remember you wanna be able to breathe and expand the rib cage. If you can't breathe and expand, you're too deep into your twist. No cranking through the spine either. Let's come to a nice tall seat, slight tuck in the chin. So as you're here, just notice and Notice if there's anywhere you could soften just a little bit more. Get a nice expansion in the rib cage on the inhale. Good. Now we're gonna do a four by four box breath here. And if you have the Ujjayi Pranayama in your practice, that back of the throat constriction, I'm gonna encourage you to bring that in here either on the exhale, the inhale or both. So this is equal part, four part breathing. So we're gonna inhale for four, hold for four, exhale four, hold for four. We'll do that four times. So big exhale to prepare. Inhale one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Last one, one, two, three, four. Hold, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, return to normal breath, fingertips to the side, palms turn up, inhale, reach and lengthen, touching palms together, exhale, hands over. Good, so bringing to mind an intention for this practice. What would you like to give or receive from this practice? Maybe, what is my purpose? I am my purpose. I'm working towards my purpose. And once you have that set, you will come up, turning palms away and grow taller. Good, let's get a little side bending in here. So I'm just gonna take this little side bend over towards the left. Both sits bones are grounded. Breathe and expand through that side body. And when you're ready, moving through center, Going right into the other side. Breathe and expand. And coming back through center. Good, from here, let's take the hands behind the head. Elbows out, let's rotate gently towards the left. Maybe taking arms out long. Breathe and expand. Hands back behind the head. Moving back through center, inhale, exhale, good, to the right. Maybe extending the arms long. Back to the head and come back center. Good, get any little movement here that would look, or not look good, but just feel good to you. 
I guess you could look good while you're doing it. Good. And then from here, we're gonna come into a child's pose. So we're gonna further prepare the spine for some deeper twisting. So support your knees as you need to. I'm just gonna move my blanket out of the way here. And this will include some side stretches in with this as well. So knees can be together as wide as the mat or somewhere in between. Good, and let's just take it forward. So maybe your shoulders don't wanna come all the way forward here and that's okay if that's you. Just take your hands back by the ankles. And then we're gonna take the forehead to a folded blanket, a block for the floor. Now this is active. So zip up from pubic bone behind the navel. Breathe and expand. Good. Now from here, when you're ready, we're gonna lift up. Good. We're gonna take this over here. Good. We're gonna walk the hands over towards the right. Once you get towards the right, walk the left fingertips forward. Lift the hips, press into the right hand, sink towards the left side and breathe. Now we're gonna try and be here for a couple minutes. If that's not where you are, come out when you need to come out. Can you bring in that Ujjayi Pranayama here? We come to intention. What is your purpose? Relax the face. Good. From here, when you're ready, come up from there. Walk that back through center. Good, gentle child's pose through center. Half or full. And because your knees were bent, you know, for a while, if you need to come forward and just kind of release out of there for a moment, just kind of do some extension, make sure it's supported so we're not hanging in the low back. Sometimes that feels really nice. And then when you're ready, we'll take that to the other side. So from here, we're gonna walk the hands over towards the left, walk your right fingertips forward. Good, lift the hips a little bit, Press into the left hand, sink towards the right hip. Breathe and expand, two minutes. So are you confident in your purpose? 
has your purpose changed from what you thought it was? Sometimes it does, and that's okay. Breathe and expand into the rib cage. And then from here, carefully come up. Good again. Just a gentle child's pose here. Remember, you can always come forward and release out of there if you need to do that too. And then now that we're more open in the side body, let's come back to a seat. So I'm going to bring my blanket back in here to sit on. And we're just gonna come to a seated twist and I'm gonna give different options for different people, different abilities. So you've always got crisscross applesauce. That's a basic twist. If you want to um, do that, we're gonna twist to the left first. You can take one leg over the top here. If this is for you, you can also be right here as long as both sits bones are grounded. So it's kind of be where you need to be in good form with a long spine. So from here, we're gonna do this one for a couple minutes as well. And those of you that wanna add maybe arms onto this twist, if you wanna twist the arms. So I've got my right leg on top. Apologies, we're gonna to twist to the right first. So you wanna twist in the direction the legs on top. So my right leg is on the top, we're gonna to twist to the right. So if you wanna do that one, good with the arms, you can hug yourself. You can wrap yourself. I've got my left arm on top of the right. And we'll do that for two minutes and just rotate. Now, if the arms is too much or you just don't wanna do that because you don't like that or what have you, then just take the arms down and just roll the shoulders back. No worries. Breathe and expand. Good. Again, we talked about purpose. Are you confident in that purpose? Or maybe you're not confident in the purpose, but you're confident in something. And then we'll come back to center, release, shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Good. 
let's come to a little bit of a forward fold here. Just breathe into the back body. We won't be here very long. We're just kind of resetting things. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take that all to the left. We're really gonna go to the left this time. So now your right leg, you know, can be on bottom. You can be crisscross applesauce. You can have a leg coming over here. You can bring this foot in, find what you need. That's right. And then arms overhead, not overhead, to the side, to the side. You can hug yourself. You can wrap yourself if you're doing that, or you can just roll to the side. So be where you want to be here. Good. And we'll be here for a couple minutes. And what about your truth? What is your truth? Does your truth line up with your purpose? Are you living that truth? Remembering the Sat Nam, I am my truth, my truth I am. Good. Carefully undo as you come back to center. Good. And just kind of shake out those legs. All right. Let's come to another gentle forward fold just to reset the spine. All right, we're gonna come up here. Let's take this into thread the needle. So this is another two minute one. So cushion your knees as you need to. And we'll do this as a little bit of a flow first, just so we can work out any kinks that might be in there. So I'm on all fours. Remember, you wanna try to keep the hips over the knees. Belly button is in because we're going into rotation. So I'm gonna start taking my right arm out to the side. Good, let's scoop and we'll come up and we'll take a scoop and we'll come up. We'll take that all the way through. Good, coming down here. So again, support yourself as you need to. So you want just like maybe the top of the head right here, my hair is in the way right here to touch. So you don't want the ear to touch. So you want a long neck. Think about still length from crown to the tail. Support that with the left hand if you need to. If your ear is pressing into the floor, then you're gonna create a kink in the neck, a kink in the energy, and your neck just won't like that over time. It's gonna make it sore.
breathe and expand. Coming back to intention. And note, you know, what comes up? Lots of things come up with twisting. What's your body trying to release or tell you here? Good. Carefully pressing out of there. Good. Let's take a few cat cows here just to reset. So I'm really starting to feel more open on one side than the other. I hope you are too. Good. And when you're ready, we'll take that to the other side. So again, we'll do this as a flow. Hips over the knees. We're going to take the left arm out, give yourself a little scoop, and we'll come up and scoop and come up and take that all the way through. Good. Again, watch your alignment here. Good. Use that other hand to help you for support if you need it. And relaxing the face. Maybe even a little bit more softness in the breath. Good. And carefully come out of there. Good. We'll come back to some nice cat cows. And maybe as you move through some cat cows, maybe it would feel good to maybe even take some little neck circles here. And you can even get the spine into it and do some rolls. So whatever would feel good to you is what I recommend. This is kind of our in-between transition. Good. And when you're ready, good. we're going to take this into a dragon and we're going to take this into um, the little twisty with the dragon here. So I'm going to give my knee just a little bit more support, my back knee that is. So I'm going to take a blanket back here. Good. All right. So I'm going to start 
by taking my right foot forward. Nope. I don't fall over, right foot forward. Good. And I'm just going to kind of come in and come out a few times here. So again, just getting a little bit looser. Good. And I want to make sure my knee is behind the hip, not directly underneath it. I'm going to take hands down and and to the floor on the inside of that foot. And then I'm gonna bring this foot out to the side a little bit more. Good. And then I'm going to kind of come into a twist here. Now you can keep the whole foot grounded or on the side. Choose where you wanna be. We're gonna be here for three minutes. So if this isn't good for you, remember come out at any time, taking your leg back like this is a nice little counter stretch. So finding stillness, finding the breath. Ponder the purpose and the truth, the courageousness to live your purpose and your truth. Sometimes it's a matter of just getting past what other people think. It's, I'm gonna bring a block in here for my forearm. You can also do this with a bolster. Okay, you can always come in and come back out a little bit and come in and come back out a little bit. If you need to come out completely, do so. I'm trying really hard not to hang in that other shoulder. You're almost there. Okay, from here, carefully, carefully come out of there. I'm gonna take my foot back in. We're gonna counter with this one, just finding some length. Now, if your body needs you to stay here a little bit longer, stay here longer, I'm gonna come back onto my knees. Now, I'm just gonna turn around to the other side just so that my back is not to you when we do the other side, but you're fine where you are, good. And then we did that, that was the right leg. So I'm just gonna take up my arms here and get a side bend to the left. Just kind of stretching out that side a little bit. And coming back up. So now we'll take that, um, Twisted dragon to the other side. So now the left foot's gonna come forward. Good. And I'm just gonna move forward and back again a few times here. Good. And then I'll come forward. 
Good. I'm going to take my hands down. I'm going to take this foot out to the side. Good. And just kind of do a little twisty here. Forearm can come to the floor, a block. You can be lifted. Whoop, we don't want to do that for four minutes. Three is all we need. Good. And we'll be right here. Remember, you can kind of rock and ease into it a few times. Finding breath. And what about your goals? Do you have goals? Are they aligned with your truth? Are those goals aligned with your purpose? If not, why not? We're about halfway there. Reconnect with breath if you've lost it. Less than a minute. This is my tighter side, so this is why I'm kind of rocking a little bit here. Good. Thinking about the intention again, purpose, your truth, being confident in that purpose and truth. Aligning goals with that purpose and truth. And when you're ready, we'll carefully take that down. Good, bring that leg back in. Good. And then from here, we'll just take that back for a little counter. Now stay here longer if you need to. Otherwise, we're gonna take that foot back down. This time, left arm's gonna come up and we're gonna get a side bend towards the right. Kind of stretching out the side body on that left side a little bit. I'm trying to rebalance. And coming back. All right. So this one is a pigeon twist. I'm going to turn back this way here. This is the last set of three minute poses, and then we go back to two minute poses. But from here, Again, I'm gonna take my left foot forward and I'm going to, actually that's wrong. Never mind. wrong side, wrong side. Right foot forward. I promise I know the difference between my right and my left. Right foot forward, good. And we're just gonna heel toe this foot over here. Now I'm gonna show you what this looks like for this pigeon twist. So you've got your belly down pigeon here. Good. You've got your left arm that's going to come here and then maybe the right arm comes up there. Some people might need to have a block or a folded blanket under here to support that head. 
just so that the head is not hanging in space if it doesn't go all the way to the floor. So that's how that looks. Now, if that doesn't work for you, then skip the twisting part. You can be here, you can be down. You can be on your back in figure four if that's a better place. And don't forget to fill in if you've got a lot of space here. So from here, good. We're on the right side pigeon. I'm gonna bring my block back up under here. Good. I am going to take my left arm through, kind of like a thread the needle and come right here. Ooh, it's been a while since I've done pigeon twist. There's also one that you can do taking this into the opposite direction as well. And if that's something that you would rather explore, then explore it going to the other side and just see what would feel better to you on this side in this moment. Okay, so there's you know different things for different people. You don't necessarily have to do it the way that I'm doing it. It is a lot more intense when you add the twist into it than when you don't. But remember that intensity. So intensity is okay as long as pain, numbness, tingling, burning are not in that intensity sensation. So if you feel those, you want to back off until you don't. You're halfway there. And then you might be like me, you might kind of be in the twist but need to come up a little bit and that's okay too. I never really know what my hips are gonna do from one moment to the next, one day to the next. I can practice this for two hours in the morning one way and be fine and then come and teach this class and then my body doesn't want it to do it the way that I practiced it. So body changes constantly. Just kind of go with that flow. And kind of accept it as it is. And then from here when you're ready, good, carefully come up from there. Good, I'm just gonna take this leg back and I'm just gonna let this leg kind of come long for a moment. And then maybe even swivel from side to side here. All right, and then from here, we'll take that to the other side. So I'm just gonna turn around here. So take it how you need to take it again, and you might have to kind of do it both ways before you see what's best for you. But we're gonna take the left knee behind the left wrist. Good, I'm gonna find my pigeon here. Good. I've got my block in place. Good, I'm gonna take this arm through. And coming up here. So remember, if you don't like it that way, try it the other way. Twist to the other direction.
Remembering twists can bring up a lot of ego issues. So could you also be humble as you discover your purpose and your truth? We all need a little bit of ego in order to get things done and accomplish goals. But we also need to keep it in check. Almost there. Come out if you need to. Come back to the breath of pranayama. Good, and then from here we'll carefully come out of there. Good, I'm just gonna let that left leg come back. Letting that all release. And we're gonna come on to our backs from here. I'm just gonna move the block out of the way. And I'm gonna take this extra blanket that I had for knee cushion out of the way as well. I'm gonna take it up here because I'll probably use it for a head pillow, neck pillow in a moment. And then same thing with this bolster. I don't want it to be too far away from me. So as you come onto your back, just take a moment and just take your hands behind the knees and just give that a tug and just a little bit of a sway. Now, if this would feel good to you based on what we just did, you can stay right here. Otherwise, see if you can come to a supine cobbler's pose, taking the soles of the feet together and bringing the heels down to the groin. And maybe we'll do that for a couple minutes. Coming back to the breath. Relax to the face.
Good. Come back to intention. Oh, is it time? Good. Carefully release. Take one leg long in front of you. Just let it rest there for a moment. And then do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to go to our final supine twist here. Before we do that, let's just come to one little bridge. Just roll the shoulders back, press into the feet. Just lift for a moment. And take that down. Okay. So we're going to do a windshield wiper bridge, bridge, yeah, twist with the um, psoas opener here. So if you know already that, you know, because I just said that, that, that's not a good twist for you, just find a supine twist that does, okay? So be where you're comfortable, that's the most important thing. But if you're gonna follow me, take your feet as wide as your mat, good. And just take a few little windshield wipers. Good. And then we'll take those knees over towards the left. Good, and as long as everything feels okay here, you can stay or you can pick up that left ankle, placing it on top of the thigh. Good, and we'll try this one for a couple minutes. You can look and head turned in the opposite direction if you want to. Let's get the ankle. Up, make sure it's on the thigh, not the knee joint. And everything needs to stay okay in the low back, the hip and the knees. So if something becomes suddenly not that great, then remove that ankle from the thigh. And from here, carefully undo, come back center, get a good windshield wiper going here. If you need to take one leg long and then the other, let your body do that. And then when you're ready, we're gonna find that on the other side, or if you did a different twist there, find that same twist on the other side that you did on the side. Good. We're just gonna take the knees over to the right. Now remember, you can stay right here if you want to. Those of you that want to take that a little bit deeper, taking that ankle up onto the thigh, breathing right here.
From here, carefully undo. Good, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Taking the knees into the chest. Give yourself a nice big tug in. And we're gonna be here for just a moment. So give it a nice tug in, find length from crown to tail. And when you're ready, good. We're going to take that into Shavasana. So I'm just going to kind of try to use my feet to get set up here with my block or my bolster, rather. So you can bring in any props that would feel good to you here. And once you get where you're going, see if you can make yourself about 10% more comfortable. Good. And you can bring yourself back to that intention of your life, to that purpose. What is your purpose? I am going to guide you through a little bit of a breath work session. So this is an inhale to four, an exhale of eight, just to get some deeper relaxation, because these were some pretty big hip openers and twists. So big exhale to prepare. Inhale one, two three, four, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Taking some deep breaths here. Choose stillness or gently take head and neck from side to side. Choosing stillness or inviting movement of fingers and toes. Choosing stillness or bringing knees back into the chest. Choosing to keep the upper body lowered or maybe you wanna lift it up into a full body hug. And choosing stillness or moving any props out of the way that you may have used during Shavasana time. Taking legs long in front of you, arms long behind you, and reach and lengthen from the edge of the fingertips, the edge of the toes, full body stretch, point and flex to the feet, bend and stretch through the hands, twirling wrists and ankles in one direction, and then in the other. And then whenever you're ready, carefully bending in both knees, and you choose rolling over onto your right or left side, 
the side that works best for you in this moment. Now when you can take all the time if you need here, but when you're ready, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat where we started our yoga practice. Taking a moment to notice how you feel now versus when we started. Fingertips to the side, palms turning up, inhale, reach, touching palms together, exhale, hands and heart center. Reconnecting to that intention we made one more time, what is your purpose? And thumbs to the forehead for good and true thoughts, to our lips for good and kind words, and to our hearts for open and loving hearts, knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted, no gain is ever reversed. May you be safe. May you stay well. You have a wonderful day, evening, holiday weekend ahead. Namaste.